Hello and welcome to the show that makes mirth out of foam water and slime. It is Splat-a-Lot. I'm Jason Agnew up here in the Splat-proof shack with my partner in Splat, the Muffin Top, Matt Chin. Never been called that before, but I'm super excited to see our attackers lose their confidence, hope, and bravado down there in the castle. And it all starts down on the moat, where 12 of our attackers will attempt to make a crossing in the quickest time possible. Then it's on to escape the stockade. Finally, our fastest four go on to capture the crown, where they will try to do just that. Well, the defenders will try to don't just do that. Did that sentence make sense? Yes. Taking a closer look at the moat, the attackers will first have to cross the baffling barrels. I'm calling a 90% failure rate right now. Then it's up the slippery slope and across the rolling mace. 100% fail. Down the impossible incline and up onto the beastly battle axes. 50% each, 100% fail total. Sprint across the rope bridge of disaster, over onto the perilous pole vault, and to the finish platform. So I'll go 110% fail on that. How is it possible to go over 100%? Well, thanks for asking, Jay. You see, three of these defenders will make up the extra 10% attacker failure rate out there on the moat. Take it away. Scab rules! That's the burly barbarian Scab. Thorn. That's Thorn with an E. One flap, and you're on your back. He's not kidding. Kuka's one of the best. Defense. 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 They're a barbershop quartet of awesome. But there's only three in the first round. And they're awesome. Okay, let's get this started. Defenders have taken their positions. First up is Madison. Fist pumping my chance, baby. Unusual spelling of that name. You think that's going to affect her time? Something slowing her down. Oh, yeah, and there we go. A slow slide with a scream combo. Well, that's got to hurt, but she shakes it off and hits the slippery slope. Hits oh. is right. Are you okay? Another scream to boot. What's going on? Take a knee, Scab. I don't think we'll need you on this run. Are you right? Hey, you doing that, darling? Run! Oh. Kook almost forgot to defend. Come on, you got three. Sorry, mate. It's my job. Exactly. Madison needs to forget them and focus on the maze. Yes! Not sure what she was going for here, but she almost eats her own foot on that splat. Now up on the incline, hopefully she can pick up the pace. Nice stop there. Sure, but what now? A paintball to the head? Success! Scab with the bullseye, you sit around long enough, it's bound to happen. It doesn't get any easier on the beastly battle axis. She's up on the first one, but taking heavy fire. The jump looks good! Oh, but the landing looks better. I love these moments of optimism, followed by that moment of reality which says, I don't think so. Splat! I still feel optimistic for Madison because she keeps coming back. And thorns on the water cannon. This one likes it. I love her gumption. She's not backing down. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, but she's going down. Splat. Yeah. She wasn't fast, but I liked her. Well, with the 936, she may not be around much longer. This is Sydney. Let's do this thing! Medieval style! <laughs> I love that battle cry. Whoa! Oh, and there's the fastest splat I've ever seen. She did this thing splat right away style. Sydney now styles away up the slippery slope. Try to aim for Sydney. Okay. Sydney is nimble on the mace. Oh, and she goes down splat style. Okay, we pick up Sydney now in the pole vault. To make it into the castle, Sid, you get a haircut like Thorn over there. Didn't realize there was so much tension between the defenders. Everyone should have a haircut like this. Weird dance, but a great time of 512. Say hello to Chanel. I have two chin Look out for Scab. Scab one, attack and none. And that score will count for nothing. Oh. Ooh. I have a story for you. Once there was a lonely barrel, until the day it met Chanel. Chanel changed that barrel's life forever as she fell head over heels in love. It's so beautiful. Here, have a tissue, friend. Thank you. Chanel now making her way up the slippery slope. She uses the tongue attack. The defenders are defenseless. She's quickly onto the mace. And quickly off the mace, electing to go to the other side. Interesting. Still works for me. She's made it to the platform with 743. Now let's meet Craig. I like pretty big ponies! How you doing there, Craig? How you doing, champ? You right, mate? Over the mace, Rolly ponies up to the impossible incline. Look out! Oh. Let's check in with the judges on that dive. I'm going with a nine. 
Yet another score that will count for absolutely nothing. How do you like that? No time for gags, this is serious. Craig is on his way to the perilous pole vault, and paintballs are a flying butt. Going down. Next stop, lady shoes and splats. How do you like that? More strange dancing, but a great time of 2.11, our best yet. Next up, Rachel. Let's ride unicorns to Alaska. Rachel, where are you? Look out, Rachel. How you doing there, sweetie? Whoa! She's up and under the rolling mace, and she is swimming. She was all over the place and just learned how to go splat in a hurry. Rachel, you've wet me feathers. That bird does not like to get wet. Headshots now. She cleared the battle axes, now ready to tackle the rope bridge of disaster. And oh no, Rachel's caught. Nothing but panic in those eyes. Give her a minute. How about a second? Well, she made it through with a respectable time of 5.57. Here's attacker number six, Graham. I'm getting a shower from Scab. He'll give him out, but he sure won't take one. Oh, and he's down. Has barrel number two found love too? It's so beautiful. The paintballs are flying on the slippery slope. To the mace roll. Oh, oh headshot. I'm good. But not good enough to stop Graham on the cross. Here he goes on the incline. Oh, he's going in. Not quite. I think you two need to be a bit more serious. Yeah, and no, I can't hear you because of the whole mohawk thing. That kind of banter just keeps Graham off his game. Ouch! Oh! He aces the bridge and pole vault and clocks in at 324. Thorn's unhappy and so is Scab. With that time, Graham sits behind Craig, who has the fastest time of the day with 211. In last place, we find Madison at 936, who will literally need a miracle to make it through. When we return, our next six attackers will try to knock those first six out of the competition. Will they be able to do it? And will any more of our barrels find love? Still on that, are you? Coming up next, we'll see which six of our 12 attackers will be going to escape the stockade. Oh, yes! It's Splatalot. Welcome back to splat -a -Lot. I'm Jason Agnew, this is Matt Chin, and tension is running high down on the moat. I'm doing a better job than you two could have done. <laughs> they do not like each other one bit. So far, Craig has the top time of 2.11, and Madison's 9.36 is the time to beat. Let's hear it for Mariana. The Guidas. Two words, Jersey Shore. No, quadruple shot from the Splat Zuka. Count them up. Oh! Yeah, you can. No, she really can't. That paintball hit so hard that it absolutely shattered. Is she gonna quit? No way, she's up and facing the axes. Be brave. You might have spoken too soon. Oh, yeah. Well, now they're just picking on her. Hey, she wasn't invited to the castle. You gotta earn that crown. She earns a time of 921. Hardly respectable. But knocks out Madison. Big deal. Let's move on to Megan. Woo, 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 woo. Rock on! Oh, another shower courtesy of Scab. Megan, is it cold in the water? A little bit. Ooh, foreshadowing? Try and stay out of the water, yeah? I'm shocked you even know what that means. I don't really. Basically, Kook mentioned water, and that foreshadows a visit to the moat. So he alluded to a future splat? That's right. Look at Matt with the big brain. Let's go, Thorny. Let's go. Megan on the rope bridge. It's nice and cold for you. See, Thorn and Kook are working together. Nice teamwork. Sure could have fooled me. And the result is a slide down splat. We're seeing about one too many times. No such thing. There's a 502 for Megan, putting her in the top six and ending Mariana's short stay. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Popsicle stand? Take that, Steven. The shower doesn't seem to phase him as he's quickly clearing the barrels even before Scab can run down to the splat zooka. Impressive speed. Steve, how you doing, mate? Open your mouth for me. The Splatzooka's jammed. Steven should have to stop. No, he's going full tilt boogie directly into the water. There's a monkey in the castle. And look at that monkey go. It's like he sees an imaginary banana, but just can't reach it. So close, yet so splat. What are you waiting for, Thorn? And the animosity continues between the defenders. Thorn, try to be useful. Wow, how much of this verbal abuse can Thorn take? How much of this liquid abuse can Steven take? Oh. oh that's what I was waiting for. Yeah! Touche! It's getting downright ugly out there. Steven posts a time of 2.45, leaping into the top six and knocking out Chanel. Okay, you can go now, Steven. Seriously, go. Now. I'm gonna own this castle! 
Well, real estate is a great investment. Do you know what it costs to heat this place? It's the hidden cost that gets you, but you wouldn't know since you still live with your parents, right? Why do you always bring that up? Hey, let's shelve the real estate talk and admire Patrick's great run. Oh, oh. and this flat zook is working again, as Patrick just found out. One for the team. Patrick didn't seem to notice, and like an adult who still lives with his parents, he makes his move over to the beastly battle axes. Look at him go. You know I'm saving up for my own place. Looks like Thorne is showing some independence with his water cannon, and Patrick is ready to pay his own way. Okay, I wasn't gonna do this, but Jay wore a diaper until he was eight. Dude, that was just a plastic undergarment. And why are you talking to my mom? Patrick's in with 153. Bye-bye, Rachel. I'm a squeamoose. Let's go, Mariko, let's go. Is Coop really cheering her on? No, he just wants her to splat. Oh, oh my. It's that third barrel, it's magnetic. It just draws you in. What are you doing? Well, her face and that barrel made such awesome music together, I just had to join in. We now pick her up on the rope bridge of disaster. Ah, straight past Thorn, as usual. Stop distracting me! I think we're lucky there's a moat separating these guys. The reign of Thorn! Washes away Mariko's chances. Here's Christopher. <laughs> Look out, Bubba! His speed is surprising scab. Quick on the barrels, then he applies the face brakes. Oh, they break your face. Chris, it's not that we don't like you, we just can't let you in, mate. Oh, Ooh. direct hit. But Chris seems unfazed. He's up the slippery slope and across the rolling maze. He's fast. Yes, he is, Kook. Oh. oh, I can't believe that. That splat will never be beat. Woo, I have to agree. So why don't we just go ahead and call that one the splat of the year. The mace roll and impossible incline go according to plan, but when he gets to the battle axis, things go awry. Starting with a leap, but then there's nowhere to land. Oh, there's somewhere to land, all right. His back. It's a back-busting brick basher as he lands on the other side. Unreal. Unreal indeed. Chris motors through to the finish platform and proves that his spine still works with the time of two minutes. Say goodbye to Sydney. Easy, Thor. So it's Patrick, Christopher, Craig, Stephen, Graham, and Megan moving on to the stockade, all with some very impressive times. I don't know if I'll ever forget that splat from Chris. Splat of the century. When we come back, the stockade is calling. And our attackers are falling. Right here on Splatalive.